Okay, so how important is the work of the Rumi Forum? I think it's very important, especially in a time when there's many interreligious tensions and often negative images of different religions, including Islam, in the press that often shake the public perceptions in a negative way. I think it's vitally important for organizations like the Rumi Forum to step forward and reach out to people from different cultural and religious traditions to build bridges, to bring people together discussing you know, common projects. When I first came to Georgetown University in the fall of 2005, I was pleased to be invited to join the Muslim Catholic Dialogue that the Rumi Forum was participating in at that time where we would reflect on values of spirituality and common interest. And it was very moving for me. Uh, I also attended some of the interreligious awards banquets, including some up on Capitol Hill. I remember when the whirling dervishes came and danced in one of the buildings on Capitol Hill. It was very moving. Then later that week, I went with a Catholic sister who's a friend of mine who works in relations with Muslims to a synagogue where the whirling dervishes, again, sponsored by the Rumi Forum, danced in the synagogue. And I don't know if this is true, but my Muslim friends thought this may be the first time in history that the dervishes were dancing in a synagogue. So I thought it was very significant that we had these you know, cooperative ventures together. Um, I forget the second part of the question. Uh, what do you see as the benefits to the wider community? And what do I see as the benefits to the wider community? I think there's an opportunity for getting to know concrete individuals in ways that break down stereotypes. Often we have a negative image of another group and don't really know the people from that group. And then it's easy to stereotype and make up all kinds of you know, generalized views. But when you actually sit down with someone, many years ago I co-chaired a seminar on Buddhist Catholic dialogue around the world. And from one region after another, everyone kept coming back to the most important thing was lunch. I think there can be very important opportunities for introducing people to each other. I remember going to a meal out in uh, Fairfax County where I was next to a Buddhist gentleman from South Korea. And um, obviously it's hosted by Muslims and I think there were Jews there that night as well. And so it was a very powerful way to get to know people. Um, as Christians, we have a call to love our neighbor, and if our labor, neighbor follows a, another religious path, it's important to get to know the religious path of one's neighbor and to respect that and esteem that as much as possible. And I see the Rumi Forum doing that in multilateral ways with a variety of religious communities. The Swiss Catholic theologian Hans Küng has said, there will be no world peace without peace among the religions and there will be no peace among the religions without interreligious dialogue. And so I see the Rumi Forum as contributing in a very significant way, uh, both locally and nationally, to interreligious efforts to introduce people to each other, to foster conversations, to bring people together around common concerns and values.